couple of times. He looked his lethargic self, which has been for Chelsea. Yes, he scored 20 odd goals for Chelsea this season, but that goal there, the keeper should save. Let's be totally honest about that. I thought the keeper tonight had mixed emotions. At times, he was absolutely shocking. At times, he made some great saves. This one here, great little flick over the keeper. Composure slides into empty, in the empty net. So that's good on choice. Played on the shoulder, well, the shoulder on the halfway <laughs> line, which I'll come to after. Um, so he had loads of space to run into. And this one was a good finish. Kept his head over the ball, guided into the net. He also missed a penalty. But at times, you know, Villa scored a hat-trick as well. Um, if Torres pass would have been better to Villa, Villa could have had five or six. But here again, good pace, gets away, slips into an empty net. But I thought Torres' performance in general, I know he scored three, he missed a penalty. I thought he was poor. Four. Four, four sorry. He, four. he was poor. Um, oddly enough, he wasn't the only one. Um, I'm down, but it's a bit late there for Fernando Torres. But in the end, I think he'll just say, "Look at the stats." And the stats, as yeah, you yeah, said, yeah. this year he's got the goals. He's got enough goals for a top striker. And he'll probably see you have a look at the medals as well. <laughs> and they've not been bad either. Three for David Villa, as you both say, he could have had more depending oh. on the service to him. Oh, I, I actually think he could have had eight tonight, mm. and through no fault of his own, he didn't get them because. He constantly put himself in the right position. If the ball would have been played to him and the standard of passing would have been better to him, even in the first half, he could have probably got four or five. But it went all the way through the game. But he is a classy striker. But now and again, strikers do need a little bit of a, a boost of confidence. And it's been up and down for him because of his injuries that he's had over the last little while. But, you know, when the ball's played into the middle there, he's, you know, he, he looks always likely to finish those ones. But I actually... At the end of the game, I was feeling quite sorry for him. We're not mentioning the keeper there. Well, I was feeling quite sorry for him because his shoulders were down because he knows that he should have had six, seven, mm. whatever, eight goals today. But those last passes, particularly from Fernando Torres, were very poor through to him when it would have been tap-ins. Let's take a look at Mikhail Roche, shall we? The, uh, the goalkeeper for Tahiti. Didn't play in the first game, got brought in for this game. A mixed night. Yeah, some, some very good things, some instinctive saves, some good handling, but at times some shocking positional sense um, going through his hands there. Great, brave, um, but again, he's he an amateur goalkeeper, so there, great strong hand. Yeah. No, I'm really, really impressed with a number of things he did, but he, to be honest, you're not going to blame a keeper for that because he's been left alone against a striker one and one. There's Would very you blame him can for do. that? We're trying to draw a wee veil over that, right, right. <laughs> just for the kindness to him. But, you know, it was interesting, he went through all these emotions. This is his best save, probably, and his reaction to this was absolutely brilliant. I love this, because he knows it's a good save. He's got over there, it's going low, it's going in the corner. And when he did that reaction, the crowd really lifted, and they were on his side, and this was 30 seconds later. And by now he's having a blinder. I think he saved us. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I think he touched it. Shall we say he touched it? Yeah. Look at the celebration. Yeah, he touched it. <laughs> and, and it's a fantastic moment for him. And he will remember that moment, etc. And there's ten other moments he'll try and forget. I, I, I said that we watched the majority of the game with a smile yeah. on our face. Apart from one moment when you got particularly annoyed with Fernando Torres' fourth goal. Yeah, I was upset is the word. Because these lads have worked really hard. And do you know what? We've seen all the way through about the high line. They're getting higher. That's in the, near the end of the game. Look, you've got to explain to the lads you can't do that. That's why you lose 10 mils. That's why you lose the respect to some people. Not me, but some people. Because you're doing that, it's the extreme naivety. Do you know that? I'm, I'm not exaggerating. We didn't do that at under 11s. We'd really? Learned, yeah, we'd learned it by then. The boys club that I was playing with, and you're going into academies now, You've learned that by then at that age. And it's not fair to do that to them. Tell them and show them how to drop back a little bit more. 